everyone, my name is Kathleen Henry. Um, originally from St. Louis, Missouri, um, came to North Carolina about 2002 with the military. Um, I'm an advocate because I have three children, two of which were diagnosed with childhood cancers. Um, in 2008, at the age of two, my youngest son, Colin, was diagnosed with um, leukemia. And then in 2010, at the age of six, my son, Patrick, was diagnosed with um, stage two hepatoblastoma, which is a very rare form of liver cancer. Um, I think what motivates me to be an advocate is that as a parent, um, my whole job is to take care of my kids. It's to make sure they're safe and they're protected and that nothing can hurt them. Um, I want them to be able to grow up and have a happy, healthy future. Um, and childhood cancer stole that for me. It stole a lot of power from me as a parent. Um, and I, I don't like feeling helpless. So advocacy was a way for me to take some of that power back. Um, it was a way for me to feel like I was doing something to help my children because in the grand scheme of things, when it comes to major medical issue, issues or medically fragile children, there's not a lot of things that I can do as a parent to contribute to those, um, those problems or to try and help solve them. So as a parent, um, as a parent advocate, I can go to Washington DC and meet with legislators and say, hey, this is why this is important to voters and this is why you should help us with this. Or, um, you know, on a smaller scale, actually I don't even think this is the smaller part of it, but um, reaching out to new patients and their families and letting them know that they too can become advocates and use their voice and their story and this awful set of circumstances that is happening in their lives for something better. Um, I always say that it's too late for my kids. I can't change um, what's happened to them and I can't change the effects that their treatments have had on them. But perhaps if we take this big bucket of awful that we've been given and we use it for something good, then maybe the next group of kids who comes along won't have as difficult of a time. And as helpless as I feel in as a parent, that's encouraging to me to make sure that no other parent feels so helpless. Um, I think that success in advocacy often looks that way. Um, it's not always winning at what we're trying to accomplish. It's not always um, getting that bill passed or um, you know ensuring that the funding is there because sometimes we fail at those parts of it. Um, I think success in advocacy is the other people who we welcome into the fold finding that voice. I feel like that's the most successful thing that we do as advocates is um, finding our own voice and helping others find their voice because um, there's not a lot that we can do by ourselves. There's not a lot that I can do as Kathleen, mom of two kids with cancer, on my own. I need an army of people behind me. I need an army of people marching beside me to make everything come to fruition. Um, we don't get laws passed and we don't get funding appropriated on our own. Singularly, as one individual, it's not going to happen, but a large mass group of screaming um, advocates, we get things done. That's what success and advocacy is to me, uniting and um, working together to make things happen. Uh, I think my advice to new advocates would be to um, take it one day at a time. Uh, just like they told us when our kids were diagnosed um, early on, when my sons were diagnosed, especially Colin. Um, his was over three and a half years of chemo and radiation, and they told us this is a marathon, not a sprint. Um, this is not going to happen overnight, and I think the same goes for advocacy. You're not going to find success in the first hour the first day, the first week, the first month, the first year that you're doing this, you're going to see small things happen and those small things snowball into bigger things. So it's really important to remember to take time for yourself, to remember to slowly address the issues and um, to, to pace yourself. It's really important to recognize that nothing's gonna happen overnight. Um, but when those successes happen, when you see something that you've worked really hard on um, 
make change and make a difference, that's where you'll feel accomplished. And that's when you feel those little bits and pieces of power coming back to you. Um, it's really just kind of a, a long process, just as rare diseases are a lifelong um, journey. So um, thank you for listening to my story. Here's to the new era of patient advocacy, a future that will be even stronger when we work together. Thanks.